cheese. Okay. Hey y'all, Bubba here. Tonight we are gonna make some juicy Lucy cheeseburgers. So I've already made the patties. Standard hamburger patty that I've always I always make with a little salt, pepper, and garlic in it, and then made a little well in the middle, and then in the middle of that well we're gonna shove it and stuff it full of cheese, one whole slice of Swiss cheese, and then we're gonna take another patty and put on top, and we're gonna make sure you. Close it all up, good and tight. I'm gonna fold that seam like that to where, see, there's the seam, there it's closed. You wanna make sure you close up the, did you get that? Mm hmm Okay, now I got my electric skillet here. And we're just going to cook them like you would a regular hamburger. But like I said, this is 80-20 uh, ground chuck. With, and then a little salt, pepper, garlic, chopped up onion. Uh, yeah, white onion and a green onion. Which is optional if you don't want onions, leave the onions out. But, I mean, it's just standard hamburger patty. And then after you make your patties, put them in the freezer. Yes, I said the freezer. For about a half hour to let them firm. And you'll find that they hold together a lot better. Put that onion in there that came out. I'm going to make four of them. And then, you, you know, you cook them until they're gray halfway up then flip them cook the other half cook them just like you would any other hamburger standard cheeseburger is the only difference cheese is on the inside and we will possibly put a slice of cheese on the outside and melt it on the outside because sometimes we do sometimes we don't so we're going to get these made I'll show you when they're ready to flip I'll bring you back All right, we're back. It's time to flip. As you can see, it's all gray, all the same color. So we're gonna flip it. Normally, I tell you not to press down your burgers, but you do want to press just a little bit to make sure the seal where you pack them together stays tight. We got a nice little crust going on them. So we're going to cook the bottom side, and then we're going to throw cheese on it and let it melt. Then I'll be back to cut it open and show you what it looks like. Hang in there. All right, guys, we're back. We got this side cooked. Now we're just gonna throw some cheese on it. Melt the cheese, serve them up. Remember, no bun, use lettuce, or just put them on a plate. Tiffany wants some tomatoes, so now I'm gonna cut up a tomato with it. I have the heat turned off, put the lid on, and that'll be enough to melt the cheese. Then, uh, I want to make another slice in the video, so we're just take this one, take the cheese back off, so I can slice it so they can see. Then there you, you can see as you go hot. But you see all that cheese right there as you bite into it, all the cheese is going to run out and everything, so. There you go, one Juicy Lucy. Try them for yourself. Use shredded cheese on the inside, it works a little bit better. So I'm putting my cheese back on there. Melt the cheese back on there and I'll put it back together. But use shredded cheese on the inside it works a little bit better um thanks for watching don't forget to like subscribe if you haven't already 
follow us or whatever the hell you do on Instagram. Do you follow people on Instagram? Yes. Okay, well, follow us on Instagram. I don't really use it a whole lot, but we have it. Uh, Twitter, I'm on there daily. Um, make sure you go over to Gaming on the Corner to support the nephews. The links are in the description for everything you need. We'll catch you down the road.